Hi guys, my name's James and welcome to the VR party. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a gaming virtual reality gaming chair that I put together in just one hour. Sorry, Linus. <laughs> it didn't take me three days, but it is the Your VR mo motion simulator chair that I'm talking about. Uh, I feel so good today. Been lucky. I actually received this a couple of months ago, but uh, I was meaning to make a video about it. I just didn't get around to doing it. Um, I did put it together in actually about an hour. But uh, to be fair to Linus, uh, it actually isn't so simple to get set up, uh, although that has changed recently. So if you're somebody who's into motion simulators, the software that you use to do that, it's actually called SimTools, and it's something that's available over on X Simulator. Uh, now, that software is actually very powerful, but it's not easy to use, and it is actually a bit confusing for people who aren't in that space already. So I have to give him that point. However, uh, the guys over at Your VR have actually updated their game launcher, and they now have a piece of software that lets you just literally turn it on, set it up, and get going. So that software actually has made the process super simple and easy to do now. So definitely, from a consumer point of view, using this chair is now a little bit easier than it was just a few months ago. However, this is definitely one of those purchases that you have to really love VR and definitely have a use case for motion simulation. So if you're somebody who loves racing games, really into War Thunder, something like that, then this chair is perfect for you. I think if you have a few kids and you want them to have a bit of fun in lockdown, again, this is ideal. And with my family, we actually set this up and put on a game called No Limits, which is a roller coaster simulator. And you can see footage of that right now. Absolutely great fun. It really felt like you were on a roller coaster. So really good fun to play and use. But definitely uh, one of those things that's, you know, it's very affordable when you compare it to other motion simulators out there. I mean, a lot of motion sims out there are definitely um, no cheaper than $3,000. And this came in at just, uh, I think it was about $1,500 for the motion simulator as it is. However, I actually purchased the um, upgraded version, which is the Pro Edition, which is just under two grand for the Pro package with warranty and everything. Of course, for myself, I am going to be using this for commercial purposes eventually. So it does make more sense for me to have this than maybe somebody who's not really all that big into simulation type games. But it is great fun. And if you have got the money to do it and want to have a bit of fun doing racing sims or flight simulators, this is an amazing tool for that. I think it's also worth pointing out as well that the Your VR motion chair is actually, once you've done that initial setup, it's really quick to pack it away, 
The chair literally turns into the lid for this thing and you can put it away in a cupboard or under a desk. And it's not overly large when you pack it away so I can get it under the stairs in my house. And to reset it back up, once you've done that initial setup in the beginning, setting this thing up again is really quick. You can do it within five to 10 minutes, have it all up and running, ready to go again, once you've done that initial setup. It's also worth pointing out that if you're a developer, the whole system is open source. So you can actually develop your own games that take advantage of the motion that this chair gives. So if you're developing your own games for the Oculus Quest or one of the actual PC based headsets, you can do that and use the SDK that this company provide for free as an open source project. So very cool stuff going on there. Now I'm waiting for them to put out a game plugin for Elite Dangerous because I do love that game and having the motion simulator for it is really, really good. You don't need their plugin to be able to set that up, but you have to go through using sim tools to do it otherwise. I'd like for them to actually create a plugin for their game launcher for Elite Dangerous. That would be fantastic and make things a lot more simple. The actual motion on this chair is really good. It has 360 degree movement and it has a rumble feature and you really do feel immersed in the actual game. And now as far as motion sickness goes, you don't really feel it so much, or at least this reduces motion sickness for a lot of games that would definitely give you it. I found that when I was playing Assetto Corsa, that this really reduced motion sickness, which is something that I did occasionally get with that racing game while just playing it sat in my normal chair. Uh, having the chair move with the game actually really reduced that quite a lot. Now with No Limits, I actually found that for short rides, it actually made them really fun and I didn't feel any motion sickness myself, but I did have a couple of friends try it out who did, after being on a couple of rides in one go, start to say that they felt dizzy. Um, but when I got them to test it out without the motion simulator, they actually felt sick within seconds. So this seat actually really does reduce motion sickness and it's certainly if you're going to be using this in a commercial sense, it is a great fun gaming chair to have and one that I really recommend for people in the industry, for arcades out there. Of course, right now with lockdown, you might not need it, but there is actually a wait in time on these chairs. So if you were to order one now, I imagine you'll probably get it just in time for lockdown to be over. A really fantastic chair that's really great fun to use. Not for everybody, of course. If you're not really big into simulation games, like I've said, racing games and flight sims, then you're not going to really get a lot of use out of this. And of course, at the moment, there aren't any standalone games for this chair. Though, I have to say, your VR are developing some standalone games that will work on the Oculus Quest, so you won't even need a PC to run a game on this simulator. At the moment, you do need a pretty powerful computer alongside a VR headset like the Oculus Rift to actually operate the motion simulator at the moment. So, very impressed with it. I was very happy to receive it when I received it. And I do think that for those of you with a use case, this is an amazing gaming chair and well worth taking time to play. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video informative and uh, enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for regular tech reviews, for game reviews and footage. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you all in the next one.